Hi, I'm Michael Kim of 120 Sports. You're watching NAB Show Live. Live from Las Vegas, this is NAB Show Live. Produced by Broadcast Beat. Beat. Here's your host, Ryan Salazar. Ryan Salazar here at the 2016 NAB Show. I know Hi, you guys everybody. can hear me out there. I know you guys can hear me out there. This is the last day of the show. You guys got to be so excited about all the cool tech that you've seen. Uh, we've got all of our broadcast beat lieutenants up here. Uh, we've, been we've been seeing all sorts of cool stuff the last couple days. Jeff, what have you seen that just got you so excited? My bed. <laughs> yes, uh, I haven't seen my bed. No, I, I saw a lot of, the, I think, the uh, NDI stuff with uh, new tech uh, fascinated me. I mean, that was like my highlight of the week. Um, other than that, I was working, so, you know, I, I you know, dove into a little bit of stuff, but I wish I could have, like, you know, walked around a little bit more. But the NDI by New Tech was really cool to see. Okay, and, and Janet, I know you've been all over the place. Talk about some well, uh, I've things yourself. I've been doing two shows a day. Hey, exactly. I've been working hard. Exactly. But I've had some fascinating guests. But when I went around the show to do some of the interviews, a couple of things struck me, and that was we're starting to see some different types of design of stands. And I particularly love the stands that are no longer just boxes, you know? So Edelkron, to, to me, were fantastic, a company from Turkey, and they've also had a fantastic product for which they won an innovation award, so I thought that was great. But I think the thing that struck me with one of my guests, when we had live from the BBC yesterday with Wendy Wright, who is line producer of a show, was she was actually saying she saved 8,000 pounds on coffee cups by giving her crew just their own bottle every time. 6,000 pounds on using renewable, ba uh, rechargeable batteries. So there are savings to be made. So I'm pushing the environment, the sustainability. Awesome, so, and awesome. Jamie, go ahead and talk about the toys you saw. Mm -hmm. um, one of my favorites has to be from Motorized Precision. They were in the Red Booth and they had a camera operator called Kira. And it was all about beauty and simplicity and sexiness. <laughs> And it was this camera that you could control with a remote and log into the system where you wanted it to go. And it kind of moved like a snake. It moved really quickly. And it moved to this, you know, in all these different angles. Mm -hmm. And I thought it was amazing. It was so cool, too, that um, I think he put like 102 points into the system and was able to use the camera to um, laser write the name of the product, which was Kira. Right. Hey, awesome. cool. cool. Very cool. All right, the, the amazing Larry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I had a lot of fun on a lot of different levels. One of the things uh, that I enjoyed was so many booths around here had people with plastic face masks on, and they were all standing around going, <laughs> it was like people having seizures everywhere. It was pretty crazy. Uh, so I saw a lot of that. Uh, but I actually got them to let me borrow this for a second. This is wow. so cool. This is a steady pod, and uh, I don't have time to demo the whole thing. But this is the most amazing, uh, like, handheld. <laughs> I mean, I, I can't wait to yeah. have fun with this. I saw yeah. that yesterday. <laughs> Excuse my coughing, it's, too. It's a high hat. It's, <laughs> it's, it's the weather. It's got yeah. Yeah, all kinds of different things. Okay. I, I saw that yesterday. I was talking with Eddie Barber. I see him in the audience. Yeah. That is so dang cool. And it is so smooth. He did a shot. He was at the Oscars a couple weeks ago. Exactly. And he did this cool shot where he came up from the bottom of the statue. Right. And kept coming up, kept coming up. And it looked... Like it was an, it was looked like it was animated. It was yeah. unbelievable oh, wow. the, how smooth the shot was. Yeah, and I'm I'm sure he's got that on his website at steadypod.com. I hope. Oh yeah. Because that's that's just it's, you can't say enough about it. The the, the great thing about this kind of show is, I did not expect to see this. I didn't go mm -hmm. looking for it. I saw somebody walking in the hall with it, and I was blown away. It, it stopped me in my tracks because yeah. I have a video monopod that I pretend to do steady pod stuff with and hold it like this, and I kind of fake it a little bit, but this is just, a, it, it's a brilliantly designed tool with a lot of different aspects to it. No, he's not paying me. <laughs> you got a shirt underneath simple. there? You got to pull your shirt No, out. my, you know, my, exactly. my shirt you is changed actually, your shirt, folks. I, I did, I changed my shirt. And, wait, hey. wait, sorry and it, ah, it's back oh, to NAB. Yeah. 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 All right, all right, the amazing Nikki. Go ahead and talk about what you saw. Well, Ryan, you know that I am obsessed with VR and probably like borderline um, unhealthy obsession. <laughs> so, yes, we um, agree. <laughs> walking through, and I've always been a big GoPro fan. I love GoPro, I have so many GoPros. This is the Omni. 
It houses six GoPros, and in the middle there's a board that synchronizes all six of them. So it's, it, it's for, it, if you watch the video, it was incredible. It's seamless stitching. It's, so this was my favorite. Awesome. All right. So who at, at NAB, and there's a lot of you left, who likes free stuff? Okay. Well, that's pretty much everybody here. Okay. Who likes free we get stuff? To, we get to look at it first, though, right? <laughs> so, uh, so we're going to give stuff away. The first person that can make it up here is going to get this box. I'm here. And then the second person that's going to make it up here is going to get this box. <laughs> we are literally just giving toys away like crazy. I'd like to say... I got Ryan's phone. Ryan's yeah, phone? Yeah, well, no, I don't know about that. <laughs> The things that I saw at the show that I really liked, I, I'm, I'm a big storage guy and I'm an yeah. like asset management guy. I know you guys like the, the, the gadgets. I like the virtual stuff. Uh -huh. So um, just so amazing how everything's evolved and how uh, the, the HDR is still a big thing. Oh, yeah. But yeah. Uh, for, uh, I'm sorry, AR and VR is unbelievable. And then, Nikki, that was something that you were really into at the show this year. It was the hottest pavilion here. It was just really exciting to see the stuff. There was one device, and I, hopefully I remember the name of it. It's, uh, I think it's called the Z4. It's this camera where they had about 60 to 80 of these cameras lined up. And uh, they had me jump in the air. It was like in synchronization, like I had to do it at a specific time. They took a shot of me, and then when they processed the video, they played it back to me, and it was like this matrixy kind of thing. So I jumped up, I was midair, took the shot, and then they hit play on this video like two, three minutes later, and it, it was me in the middle, and then just you see this shot like this, it was just like the matrix. Wow. So I thought it was cool. That it, was it, it makes Hall. perfect sense. Ryan Salazar is the one. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do you know what I thought was really good about AR and VR? There's so many emerging markets that aren't traditionally broadcast. So the applications in medicine yeah. and um, education are fantastic. So I think AR, VR is going to really be the next thing. All right, so I've got some friends that I met just the other day. Hey, guys. We would love to see this. Uh, come on up. So this, this, and, and oh, wow. you watch the crane's going to be shooting you. This thing is amazing. I'm wow. in love with it. Wow. wow. That's intense. Yeah, that's intense. I mean, this thing is so cool. Wow. And that's amazing. Is that's that cool crazy. or what? Yeah. Um, that, that's my, I think that's probably my favorite toy oh, that you can actually put okay. on. How do you get through oh, TSA? Hi. Wow. So, uh, I mean, they've got the camera. They've got, a, you know, they've got the, uh, the, the screen on there. You can, it's just, just, just amazing. Hey, come up here real quick, Adam. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and you don't have a handheld, but I'm just going to just explain I, it real yeah. quick. This is called the, this is called the anti-gravity rig. It is made by Cinema Devices. It can take a camera from floor to overhead without the need for counterweights. So you can hike up a mountain wow. with this thing. Wow. wow. And you can get on an escalator with it. It shrinks down. You can go through doorways with it. And you have, it's going to open up the whole door of where production values can be for all levels of production. Uh, that is cool. Yeah, I know, yeah. That's, that yeah, thank awesome. you so much. Uh, so, so that's Adam, founder of Cinema Devices. Yes. Man, you've been chasing us all over the last yes, few days, have. and I, I had to give you the credit. But I got to say, every time, thank you so much, Adam. And, and every time, oh, oh, your website, yes. Yes, we're www.cinemadevices.com. Look at us, look us up on the web, and we'll keep you posted. Just get contact us, and we'd love to. And, and it comes with an yeah. operator. Yeah. And, and, yeah. What's, what's so, oh, my mic just went up. Yeah. There we go. Is no, cool. what's so cool is every, every time I see you guys uh, out on the floor, you're bringing crowds with you. They, they just follow you. It's like you've got an entourage or something. <laughs> We've been the hot chick of the, uh, yeah. the floor. Yeah. All right, thank you so much, guys. Thank I appreciate you. it. Wow. All right, so who else likes free stuff? <laughs> All right, oh. if, if you're into graphics and, and video editing, you're going to want this stuff. We've got uh, New Blue Effects, uh, some, oh. some free software. Really nice stuff. Come on up. Whoever can make it up here the, the fastest is going to get stuff. Come on and actually, now. And, and actually, I mean a lot of people because we've just got a lot of it. So yeah. if you want free software, we're giving free software away. Special, yeah. special thanks to New Blue Effects. So, uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, we got a heck of a crowd, guys. Wow. Oh my gosh. Hey, where are you from? Just curious. Houston, Texas. Houston, Texas. All right, where are you from, sir? Virginia. Virginia. There are people from all over the world here yeah, at NAB Show. Way. Yeah, I'm not giving my laptop away, pal. That, that's all we have for right this moment, guys. Thank you so much for coming up. Um, Sony launched a new camera just recently. I think it was the PVWX400. That thing is killer. We were shooting with it on the floor and just super excited to, to, to play with all these technologies. And that, now we have to ship 2,600 pounds back to Fort Lauderdale. <laughs> Woo! What do you think about that? <laughs> Woo! I, I, I'm not even looking forward to that one. I'm, I'm going to hit a spa tomorrow. So, yeah. um, Don't you guys think Ryan's done a brilliant job with the studio oh, yeah. here at NAB Show 1? Awesome. Well, it was well, so, worth the 2,600 
pounds. Well, thank you. Um, you know, there's there's just a couple things I want to talk about. I was, and I, I have to say, number one, uh, thank you so much, Michelle Kelly, uh, for letting us do this show. And uh, we interviewed Chuck Lorre. Uh, who else? Uh, Bob Woodruff. Um, uh, I spoke with. Gosh, Oscar. who else did I speak? Oh, Oscar. yeah. I, how am I going to forget that? Uh, I spoke with uh, Oscar De La Hoya yesterday. That was an amazing segment. Um, but the NAB family, our family, is, is just, I've, I've been with them for about five years. It's just been amazing. So I kind of feel very connected to the show. So thank you. Um, Jamie, just talk about, talk a little bit about more about, this is literally just talking about toys we've seen at the show. So um, <clears throat> let's see. Or cool experiences you've had this week. I would say some of the cool experiences I had because, you know, we are working. We didn't, as Jeff was saying, we didn't get to roam as much. But what was amazing um, hosting and asking questions was I got to learn a lot about things. So a lot of people, of course, as we know, are making the transition easy to an IP-based you know, space. And that was great from um, storage, which is something you said you like, from yeah. storage to how we're able to reach things, security. Um, tools that we can use that were just easy and on the go. They're just making every, a lot. The main thing that people said, and that was pretty much the through line of all of these interviews, was efficiency. Yep. So everybody's really had their eye on being efficient and making it easy for their customers to create. So I love that. And that's, I would say that's like the main thing that I learned, especially, you know, and a bunch of little things about each little individual product. Yeah. Awesome. You know, so the, then there's one thing that we, we forgot to even talk about is, is actually the people that come to NAB. <clears throat> so believe it or not, I've only been, I think I've been coming to NAB for about six years now. And to me, it's all about the people too. I mean, more than anything. Right. Um, when I came here, I just absolutely fell in love with the show. Uh, it's a great place to network, to make friends. Um, and the people that come here are so dang smart, and they, they, they come from all different, from all walks of life, from all over the world. Um, it's just really cool to see how, how you know you can you can meet with these people and then in, and integrate with them in the future, even remotely, because sure. everything's on the internet now. Yeah. So um, it's just really cool. But uh, we spoke with our friends at Simpty. I'd like to congratulate them on a hundred years. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Uh, that's, that's amazing, and, and we're going to be there in Los Angeles for that event, uh, in I think it's in October. October. So, uh, so Nikki, so uh, where are you staying at? Just curious. Planet Hollywood. Planet Hollywood. Okay, yes. well, that, that matches you, Hollywood. So, <laughs> so you're taking the monorail. You heard our commercial. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, the commercial. You did a commercial up there? <laughs> exactly. We've got, we've got radio spots playing on the monorail. Yeah, I'm actually at uh, this... I think four four stops away, so I heard it quite a bit. Okay, yeah. cool, very cool. It was amazing. All right, so Larry, uh, talk about cameras that you saw. So uh, more stuff. Well, what, I, uh, there there was a lot. There yeah. was a lot. I, I saw some things at the um, uh, at the mm -hmm. Canon booth. I spent a lot of time in the dark area of the Sony booth, and the the thing that's interesting to me is the emphasis on HDR. I'm interested to see how HDR shakes out because there are a number of competing technologies, so it's going to be interesting. And I think that's the same thing with everything. It's, it's VR, it's the HDR. Um, there are a number of technologies, the IP technologies, but one of the things that I think was really kind of at the, at the top of the important message that came through is that so many of these companies realize, I can't own my market. I've got to, I've got to play nice in the pond. And so you see a lot of these open workflows where right. companies, whether they're hardware or software manufacturers or solutions providers at any level, are trying to provide solutions that work and dovetail with other people and also <laughs> gracefully bring in old technologies so that they can phase those out and bring in the new. <laughs> and so as we're moving to IP for broadcast, uh, you, you see a lot, you don't see isolated lockdown solutions. And I think it goes back to what you were talking about, the people here. And, and the companies recognize they have to play with other players to, yeah. uh, to get traction in the market. If you come up with an isolated lockdown solution, people will walk by your booth and go, oh, that's nice. You're not going to be here next year. Yeah. And, right. and the people that are sharing, that are open platforms, yeah. they're the ones that are making progress. All right. Yeah. All right. So just because we're limited on time, I'm, we're going to come back to Jamie in just a second and talk about a really cool thing you did at TVU yesterday, a remote that you did. It was just kind of fun. And we used TV, I'm sorry, not at TVU, at the Killer Tracks booth. Killer Tracks, yeah. But in the meantime, for just a second, who wants more free stuff? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> come on down. Free stuff, guys. Don't head to the airport. Get free stuff from me right now. 
<laughs> Don't be scared. Ah. All right. Special thank you to Isotope for all this good stuff. It's yeah. a plug and pack, the four essential tools for audio repair. It certainly has value. Oh. It's amazing. Ryan, Ryan, Ryan. Dude, yes. I need that. Me, me. <laughs> all right. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Um, are you guys going to be back to NAB next year? Of course you are. Okay. Thank you so much. All right, nice. Jamie, talk about uh, the Killer Tracks booth that, uh, interview that you were at yesterday. Okay, so that was a lot of fun. If you guys were here and were able to see that, I really appreciate it. I want to say thank you to my team because there were so many of us just in place, making sure everything was working. TVU was amazing. I had Paul Shen on my show on Monday, and he sent texts out to rock with us. We used the TVU backpacks. Um, Killer Tracks, they were absolutely amazing and excited. Luke McMaster is a wonderful star. So they had this circular sound booth, and, you know, it was only natural that I found my way to just kind of <laughs> sit right in there and <laughs> do the interviews. It was amazing. And um, they had so much to offer when it comes to music. And uh, so I had the little piece in my ear, and we're all looking. We're getting in place. Everybody's in line. They're ready to know what they're saying. And... You know, as soon as I got sound, I heard everybody clapping here, and it was just so fun because I'm like, I think they said I'm live, and I think the camera was like on my feet or something. Like this. And I'm but, like, no, no, we're ready. Okay, so we're here with Luke yeah. McMaster, and it was just great. It was but a lot isn't of it, love. Isn't it cool how the remote technology has evolved over the so many years, the last, you know, even five years? Yeah, so, it's amazing. And that device uses uh, like six cellular cards. So it's got uh, six cellular, excuse my, uh, my coughing again. <laughs> um, there's like six cellular cards in the backpack. In the backpack. And it bonds and aggregates the bandwidth. And, and you can go anywhere, including the convention center, with thousands of signals. Oh. I was at, over at Accelerated Media Technologies uh, visiting with my friend Steve DeFala. It has literally become a uh, tradition that every show that Steve is at and Accelerated Media Technologies is at, I just go visit them because they have these cool trucks. Basically, they have the rights to get a Ford truck, for example, and just slice it and dice it up and put it back together. And by the time it's done, it's, it's a production truck. Right. And, they, and it still keeps its warranty. They actually are that skilled at what they do that the, the, the manufacturers trust them. But it was cool. They have this wireless technology. And think about talkback in the television industry where you've got you know, an IFB in my ear. Uh, but think about it with video and audio. They actually were doing that. They were bouncing a satellite off the, uh, the top of the Renaissance uh, Hotel right. over to the bouncing it off of the wind, like the physical building, the signal, <laughs> went off of the wind, bounced over to the top of the Westgate, and then they backhauled the signal wirelessly again over like a dish, and then went right back over to the truck, which is in between Central and South Hall. Is that crazy or what? And we were communicating two-way audio and video by doing that. It was just so cool. But, but anyway, Steve and those guys, they, they make Perfect. weather trucks and whatnot. Cool, cool stuff. Janet, anything else you want to cover? Well, I've been to some good parties. Yes. Very interesting <laughs> parties. Party and I think also Party I've animal. spoken to more CMOs, CTOs, and CEOs in one week right. than I do normally. But carrying on what Larry said, I think what I found was that they really are all talking about partnerships yeah. because that is the way yeah. to go. And security was one of the big issues that came up on my sessions. And obviously, they're looking at that because their customers want to protect their assets. So I think um, it, was, it was a lot of fun. We got some interesting conversations. We did one fantastic show on gender balance. So oh, we, awesome. tried, we tried to get you guys to start thinking, how can we encourage more women into this business? Because we're the minority. You know, we might actually like one day to have a cue to the ladies, because we, we see them to the guys, but uh, there aren't that many yep. women here. So I, I wouldn't mind if show. more women were around. Yeah, <laughs> sounds good. I'd be okay. Yeah, You'd like exactly. a few more yeah. women yeah. around. Would yeah. you Don't tell my wife. Them. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Watching right now. Yeah. No, it's been a great show. Yep. And uh, Jeff, you know, you're a radio guy. I used to be a radio guy many, many years ago when I was like 18, 19. I was on the radio. But um, the technologies in radio, I mean, we were just talking the other day how, you know, you used to have dial in technology. Or you would dial like a Telos box, for example, right. like a phone hybrid system. Right. And now they have voice over IP doing that. It's. It's, it's it's so advanced, and I mean, and you really, I mean, there's so much here. You, you can't even get to every booth because when you go to one one other booth, you find out something else, and you get mad because you can't, you know, you're just like, I want it all, but you can't have it all, you know. So that's why I think my my take on NBA, uh, NAB this year was like, I'm just gonna take a low key approach because then I get all excited and I see something that I want, and then I go to the next booth and I see something, I go, I gotta have that too, and then by the time it's like, I, I've got this list that's uh, you know could go all the way to. Uh, 
you know, all the way to the wall over there, and I, I can't make a decision because there's so much wow. great, great product. Wow. All right, so before I forget, I know we're out in uh, three minutes or so. Uh, we're going to have continued coverage. So we've, we have 39 crew members. That's right, 39 we got, crew we members. we got to thank all those people, all the people yeah. behind yeah, the scenes. Great. Yeah, here, here. Everybody. Yeah, thank you. I had the best team. Yeah. 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 So it's the largest crew in history, I think, for NAB Show Live. I've been a correspondent for about five years and was asked to become the executive producer this year and literally run it. And brought, it is produced by Broadcast Beat in full this year. It's pretty cool. It's very um, cool. But 39 crews, we've had five film crews on the floor. We're talking full ENG crews, camera operators, audio operators, social media folks, uh, multiple social media folks in yes. some cases, uh, and talent with all those crews. And then the control room itself has just been killer, all the people and all the, uh, how, how skilled everyone is. So I wanted to say thank you to you guys. And, and, um, and, and, and we're going to have to, in addition to the live broadcast of 36 hours that we've done, which will wrap up in about two minutes, um, you can still continue to see more videos. We shot over 200 videos here at NAB that weren't even put on the broadcast. So continued stuff at youtube.com forward slash broadcast beat. So that's youtube.com forward slash broadcast beat. You can follow us on Twitter at broadcast beat. You can follow us on Instagram where we've probably posted over a thousand yeah. photos, guys. At least. Yeah. Yeah. At, at uh, broadcast beat. So please follow us there. And of, and of course, you, you can't miss anything. There's so much stuff on the NAB Show website itself, nabshow.com, and lastly, broadcastbeat.com. All right, so we've got how long, Phil? One minute. Very special thanks to you, Phil, as well, too, man. He's been and awesome. Yeah. And Liz. And Liz. And Liz. And, Liz. and Christina yeah. and Dale Kelly and everybody in the control room. You guys have, I, I, don't, I don't have everybody's name memorized, so I apologize. But, but we it's, should also uh, thank all those people that watched NAB show. That's true. Yes, and yeah. Broadcastbeat.com watching yeah. us live. So thank you so we much. Had lots of viewers. All right. So 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 with that said, guys, uh, a very special thank you from from the bottom of our hearts, and we'll see you at the 2017 NAB show. Right. Goodbye, everyone. Yeah. Safe journey uh, home. Bye.